Hi there. Today our conversation is about dealing with peer pressure. By the end of this clip you'll have a few more skills to use if you're making a change to your substance use. Have you ever gone to a party and decided that you weren't going to drink any alcohol or use drugs, but when you got there with your friends you somehow got talked into using? When you set a goal like that for yourself, you want to be able to feel confident that you can stay safe and sober. My name is Dave and the reason I'm talking to you about this today is that I understand that it's not easy saying no when you're being pressured by your mates, but by the end of this clip you'll have a few new tips about how to hold your ground. Number one, give yourself permission to avoid people or situations that don't feel right and to leave a situation that becomes uncomfortable. Work on setting boundaries because it's okay for you to do what is best for you. Number two, check in with yourself. Ask, how am I feeling about this? Does this seem right to me? And think the consequences right through. Number three, recognize unhealthy dynamics. It's not okay for other people to pressure or trick you into doing things that you don't wanna do or for others to make threats if you don't give in. It's also not okay for others to mock or criticize you for your choices. You can ask others to stop these behaviors or you can choose to avoid spending time with people who act in these ways. Number four, you can choose to spend more time with people who respect your decisions and won't put unfair pressure on you to conform. Number five, when people or situations that make you feel pressured are not avoidable, try the delay tactic. Give yourself time to think about your decision instead of giving an immediate answer. For example, let me think about that, or not right now, thanks. Number six, when you can't avoid or delay a high pressure situation, practice saying no thanks or just no. And if no feels uncomfortable, practice using other responses, such as not today, or maybe another time, or thanks, but I can't. Number seven, it's okay to use an excuse. For example, if someone offers you a drink and you want to say no but you feel awkward, you can say that you have to get up early the next day. Number eight, take a friend along who can support you and let them know what your intentions are. For example, I don't want to drink tonight, so if you see me about to, remind me that I wanted to stay sober. Number nine, Standing up for others when you see them being pressured can be an effective way to support them and send a message. If you don't feel comfortable directly confronting the person doing the pressuring, try distracting them or inviting the person being pressured to do something else. And number 10, ask for advice or support from a friend, a parent or a counsellor if you need it. So we've covered off on our 10 tips. I trust that some of those will be useful and the next time you're out with your friends, you're able to hold your ground when it comes to your choices about drug and alcohol use. For more information about where you can get support, check out the DEN website at the link below.